Hello everyone, uh, Sherry here. I just thought I'd pop on to do a quick video of what I've been up to lately. I was watching Artem, Artie Mays. Uh, she had made a file folder a while ago, uh, which she made into a folio, which these are kind of my prototypes I've been playing with. I bought a box of legal size file folders. There's about a hundred in the box, so I can play forever. Um, but what I'm going to show you, just a quick video. This was the first one I made. Uh, my lace closure. There's uh, two buttons on the front here. Uh, it says, making messes is what I do best, or what we do best. It does. You open it up, and it has an elastic here, which holds in little um, bits and pieces to share with your friends, or you can make tags, or you can put a little notepad in here, which would fit nicely in there. Um, this undoes like that. These are brads that I put in, and this opens up. You have a pocket here as well. It flips, and then you have another pocket here. And underneath, I put another envelope, which you could put the little secret notes in or something like that. Let's just close it back up. Get your elastic. You can tighten it, loosen it, whatever you need. This one is knotted at the top here and glued so that it'll stay. This can be cut off if you wanted to trim it a little bit more. Put that back in there. This is kind of like a... I can't remember what they're called, but those books we were all going crazy about with the elastic to hold the book in. This can come out. Like that, go back in. It'd be great for traveling if you're going somewhere to travel and you needed something to art on. These are papers that I, I, I painted this a long time ago. These were dyed papers. Some of them are um, kind of like a uh, what Lisa did, Lisa My Eclectic Life, where she put in dyes and crumpled it up and they looked really cool. Mine don't look anything like hers or as nice as hers, but I still like them. I think they're pretty. This is uh, pieces of lace that I cut and put some ink on. So that's that, and several pieces. This is another flip. You can put something here if you wish. I made a kind of like, uh, I can't think of the word right now. But there's another pocket here. Two envelopes. Again, pocket. Pocket here. Tags or whatever you wish. Another envelope here, which you can add whatever you wish into, you know, cluster. This is out of a, uh, a paper pad that I got. I think I got it at uh, either Dollarama or Michael's a long time ago. Uh, Called, obviously called chalkboard. It was 36 papers. 
I have used a lot of it in here. It's all black. You're going to see a lot of it in my next folio. There's another envelope with the closure. There's another little envelope. This is a clip. Again, this is just my prototype. So I'm just playing the card. And it just... Uh, Another picture there, and it just folds up like this. You tie it. I'm trying not to make this video too long. This is the second one I did. This is one I covered. This is one of those hair elastics or headband. Again, same idea. You have your place to attach your book. This one was a little more difficult to do because I put these papers are from the paper bat I showed you from chalkboard. Um, however, it makes this really thick, which is nice. Again, you have your elastic with your extra bits, pocket here, another pocket here. I haven't put anything here yet. Not sure I will. Again, just wrap it around. There's some bits. There's a postcard I printed when I had a printer a long time ago. Envelopes that I've made. Tags. Bits and pieces of the leftover paper, envelopes, just little bits that you can share again with your friends. And that just sits all nicely in there. Sorry for being all kinds of <laughs> thumbs. And you can add another booklet here if you like. You can make it as big as this part here. And you get your fold, hold it over, hold it over. The space to put something. And that was that one. Now, how I made this, so I was following Artie Mays, obviously. This is my front cover. This is a legal size one which measures, I think it's 11 longer than 11 but this one is fourteen approximately when this is open it looks like like your normal folder right there's um this is done at a four inch. I put a score, I scored the folder here, and then I scored it again here. This is about a quarter of an inch. And I scored it here because you're going to cut this piece off and this piece off. And this you could cut off or you can leave. It's totally up to you. I need to cut it off because then it fits better in here. This was the original fold of the folder where I have several score marks. I put it on the first score and the last score, which gives you your spine, which is where you're going to put your holes to put the elastic to add your booklet. And that's what I've done here. Again, this is at 13 and 3 quarters. Or you can measure it from here to here, which will give you your approximately four inches. And you score it a quarter inch, approximately. And that's how I made it. And this will fold up. Cut this, cut this. You cut, you have to cut this part out as well. And then you have this for a flip and this for a flip. 
on my second one I cut this off I accidentally cut it a little wonky so it didn't work well so I took it out this up and this will give you this is why I took folded this in because on this one I made it a little bit wider and a little longer than the original one so like that or you could fold it where you could put this in this in and this in and then you have it like that I like this out that way you have this flap now in this one, it's just the one I cut the extra flap off, so you only have this one. Which I kind of like that better, because this will sit better. But I have a hundred folders to play with, so I got a hundred different ways I can do this. This one is more like what Arden Mays had done. Uh, I tried to follow her video as much as I could. I added a little extra things. This is my flip. Which you can glue it down and make another pocket here. Or you can do what I did and add these little envelopes. I have quite a few of these envelopes. So these ones I've coffee dyed. And they came with these little cards too that I think they were for some kind of uh, invitation that someone had done. I got it at a, a free place that we have here in Canada. Again, booklet, which can be taken out. You could sew this if you wanted to and just make it an actual book. Or you can leave it like I did, where I can take each individual page out and art on. But this can be folded this way. I prefer it this way. It just seems to sit better. And that is my rendition of a folder folio. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share and like. And like I said, this one is shorter than this one. So you have this one, which is approximately 10 inches this way. Fold it up, it is about five and a half inches. This one is, so I believe it was 11, almost, it's 10 and a half. And then it is five and a half this way almost five and three quarter whereas this one it's only about five and three quarters so they're about the same almost the same but as you play with the folders you can fold it any way you wish it's limitless and it gives you a good base to start with because you already have your spine here there's a little spine here and a little spine here and there you go there's my file folder hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching have a great day